how did you guys meet each other? Online. Uh, <laughs> match. Yeah. MySpace. Yeah. He, he had similar uh, taste in music, and I liked his profile picture. Mm-hmm. And it was. I called him. I honestly can't history. tell if you guys are kidding right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're totally joking. We're, okay. Yeah, we've never been arrested. Yeah, we we actually met in jail. Yeah, I'm actually met Fifty in in jail. He wanted to go in on this project with us, and we were just like, dude, we don't have time for you and, and your whole like getting shot thing. It's just us two. We constantly get the question, "How did you guys meet?" I'm just gonna let you guys in. We we. We lie about it every time. So let's let's do an example here. Um, you can ask us how, how did we meet. So how did you guys meet? That's a good question. Yeah, it's like, actually a pretty good story. Um, yeah. There was one time where uh, um, I was I was thrown into prison. Right. Just it was like a short term prison sentence. Um, I stole something from a grocery store right. and um, put in like my own cell. And right next to that um, is like this big huge guy ta tattoos all over his body and. Uh, and then on the other side of him is Tyler. He was thrown in for murder. Um, so he was in for a little while. And, and anyway, um, this guy in between us noticed that I was like hitting stuff on the walls and he's kind of like playing the piano on the walls. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But he's like, hey, you guys should, you guys should meet and like be in a band. He didn't sing ever. He's a great singer, but he mostly did air piano. You can't sing in prison. No. So he introduced it's us illegal. and uh, and we became great friends, and, and we decided that we should we should definitely start a band. Start out as like an air band because there wasn't you can't have instruments. In not there. really a lot of electricity in your cell either. No, yeah, there's not a ton of electricity. Definitely no pianos. Yeah, and most of the songs that you hear us play are about prison. The hard life. Thanks for asking. What's the other story that you tell? Oh, uh, well, actually, what really happened was we uh, we were on a train. We didn't know each other, um, but the train wrecked, and we were the only two survivors. We were crawling out of the rubbish and we thought to ourselves, like, do we we gotta start a band? Yeah. So then we did. Right next to each other. We were we were on the opposite sides of the train yeah. when we were traveling. But by we the ended time, up right next to each other. By the wrecked. time it wrecked, it was such a bad wreck. <laughs> it basically <laughs> collapsed and pulled it on top of it. It was so. a train sandwich and we were right there yeah. in the middle of that sandwich, but we were un unharmed. Unscathed. Yeah. Other than I got hit really hard on my face. Yeah. And that's why I can't really grow a lot of facial hair. Like, yeah. I got a huge like scar on my arm, and that's really what actually this this is from. <laughs> it's like a burn. Yeah, so that's how we met. Can we kind of talk about the history? Um, yeah, Josh, you want to tell how we met and everything? You that, you that. Yeah. We were at a sh we, can you? Oh yeah. Do, <laughs> do I need a microphone? He's a drummer, I don't know Mike. I don't know what this is. What is this thing? <laughs> I never I never get one of these. Um, <laughs> I never get one of these. <laughs> <laughs> we were uh we were at a shooting range. Um I was I was actually because I didn't know him at the time and we were both just kind of like uh next to each other firing and mm -hmm. um and I and I was like kinda like having a hard time like hitting the hitting the thing. It was my first time at a shooting range. And he was like hitting it right on the mark every single time, and I, and I was just like, dude, can you show me some pointers? And uh, and he just kind of like came over and. Oh, I got behind you, didn't I? Yeah, it was like the kind of thing where he like put his arm around and like grabbed the gun, and like and and, and it, he it was awesome. And so then I tried it on my own and I did it, and we like jumped in the air and high fived and we yeah. hugged. Um, and then we were like, let's start a band together. Yeah. Um, and so then I think we left directly from there. Um, and went to uh, the studio and made this record, made this past record. I don't know. I think that we're we're just friends and uh, <laughs> we just like to play music, <laughs> and that's that's really the history that's of the, the whole thing. Story, <laughs> that's the real story. <laughs> Josh was really young. He was just a little little sprout <laughs> when <laughs> a little I, bean sprout when he started when he started <laughs> playing drums. Right? You started playing drums at at, at three months, right? So yeah, I, I got my first drum set um, at, at the age of three months and uh, played my first solo at six months. Yep, um, that was nasty. Yeah. I was there for that. Yeah. that was... Even though you're six months older than me. <laughs> well, yeah, your mom came to the show. Yeah, she and... told me, but I was like, you know how moms will like put 
headphones up to their bellies well, yeah. well, when they're no, pregnant. She, remember when she went into labor that night? That night, then, during then, your solo, And actually. then came back. Yeah, and after, that's when we started the like, band. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a crazy story. Yeah. Um, that's how we met. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, you guys formed in Columbus, Ohio at college. Is that, is that right? Well... And I do know that you may give me a lie about how you guys got together, so make oh. sure it's the correct one. Do you want the correct one or you? No, want you can you can embellish. Go for it. Okay. Uh, well, Josh and I were we were both working at a train stop, which is odd because you know you see the same person. You know the same person when you 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 know how, how many jobs you had? You had a couple jobs, right? Two or three. Yeah. Two or three. Yeah. Each of those jobs, you you kind of you kind of develop a bond with the people that you work around, correct? And, uh, I would like to hope so. You would like to hope so, because you're, you're encountering struggle and difficulty, and people are annoying, and you know, but you get to bond over how frustrating it is. And when we were working together at a train shop, we were, we were is that what you call it? Train, train shop? Yeah. I, I train don't think station. so, but... <laughs> Continue. Uh, the train shop was at the train station where you go and buy like you souvenirs go. of like train uh, keychains and stuff. I was trying to say, we, yeah. we worked at the souvenir shop, <laughs> and we encountered so many frustrating and annoying people they came in and wanted to buy like little tiny trains and we're just like, we don't have those, we sold out again. So frustrating. And so Josh and I were like, hey man, I'm frustrated. He's like, me too. And we were like, let's start a band. Yeah. So most of these songs are about souvenir shops. So and yeah. every song on the album features one of those like whistles, those wooden whistles that sound <laughs> like a train. <laughs> Somewhere in the song, just listen for them. They all I hated yeah. those things. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The customers didn't know, but we, we blew into every single one of those before we sold them. <laughs> the real story of how we met, we were on a train and it got, it wrecked. And everybody died, except for us. We thought, wow, hey, I'm, I'm Tyler, he said, I'm Josh, he said, I play the drums. I was like, let's start a band. And pretty much every song that we've written so far has been about how we met. It shows. No, how we really met. So Josh and I were in prison. I was a guard, though. Yeah. And uh, like they tell you not to become friends with the the inmates because it's Especially just not smart. Especially guys who did what I did. Yeah, it was really bad. It was loitering, a lot of a lot of loitering at a mall. I was told to stop loitering many times. And I actually I was the one who arrested him in the first place. When we first met, I had just gotten this new app called Tinder, and I reached out and I saw Josh. And I was like, hey, that looks like a guy that might look like he wants to play music. And so then I was like, let's, let's, let's play music. And so he, he tendered me back and we started a band and most of our songs are written about that experience. It was a weird first date. How do we form the band? Um, Josh and I both worked at a, uh, a store that made chairs and uh, I just wasn't very good at it. He, he was the guy at the chair shop that was making such great chairs and they were always so solid and so I looked up to him a lot and uh, um, when I couldn't get the chairs to work I used the sticks of the chairs and just kind of like, remember, like drums, I would just kind of like hit them. Josh heard me doing that and I realized, and then he told me, he's like, you know, I'm a drummer. I was like, no way. I was like, dude, let's, let's screw this, uh, this whole chair idea and let's go start a band. So. Um, that's how we met, and we've been playing music ever since. Do you ever recall how you met originally? Yeah, it was, it was, it's a great story. It really defines our, you know, our band. Yeah. Tom. So we're playing uh, kickball. So we went to the same local pool. Yeah. And we're playing kickball, and um, and it was like it was well known that Tyler and I were the best uh, kickball players, like at the whole pool. Yeah, we both kind of rose up as like the premier players. Yeah, um, but we didn't really know each other. It was just like, oh, okay, well, it's, we're on rest break because you can't swim for 20 minutes or whatever. Right. Um, so we were, you know, we just play with all the all the other athletes of the pool. Yeah. And uh, there's one, there was one, one, one day, day. One day, we're all kind of came, yeah. we, we stayed <laughs> away from each other, you know, because he was good at it, and uh, I was good at it. We didn't want to, you know, step on each other's toes. We yeah. one day. There was one day that uh, Tyler kicked a, kicked a ball um, so it went like it went right over my head. I was in the outfield, yeah. into the into the neighbor's yard, yep. who had a dog. But it actually just like caught the ball and just like popped it. Yeah. And so um, I was, I thought that was so amazing that I went up to Tyler and I was just, dude, that was so incredible. 
Um, and, and I think we may have hugged at yeah. that moment, and like, because you know we got passionate about it. Yeah, and then and I think we just were like looking at each other like, hey, let's start a band. Yeah. And so that's that's how it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Um, I was working at uh, a power plant, and um, I was the guy that was in charge of making sure um, all the workers kept on. Uh, working, so I was kind of like a, a supervisor, if you will. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, one day, corporate sends in this kind of like a, a new supervisor. We were supposed to, me and this new supervisor, were supposed to kind of like do like a co-headline type thing with the with the supervising, and it was Josh. And for the first like three weeks of the job, I, I just hated his guts. Um, but then I realized, like, man, you know, he's a cool dude. And uh, I noticed he had really good rhythm. When he walked, he would always walk to the beat of the music that was playing. We'd always be playing music through our halls at our... At the power plant. Power plant. I forgot what the name of what I was doing. Yeah, but. the power plant. Um, and then one day he was... And w the, the day that I knew, like, this is the guy, like, I want to be in a band with for the rest of my life, he was like, dude, let's fire everyone and just get a bunch of hamsters to, like, do the, like, their thing. Mm -hmm. Cut back on costs. Uh, and they're more fun. Yeah, and they smell great. Yeah. So, and so then most of our songs are about that time in our life. Really, the reason I came here is because I want to go back to the beginning, and I want to know how the two of you met and formed a group. Um, well, I was, uh, I was working at a grocery store, and uh, I, I worked mainly in the back, uh, just kind of restocking stuff and Josh was a was a well he weren't even really a cashier he was more of a bagger um, a bagger yeah he didn't like to do anything with technology he really just liked the idea of putting certain <laughs> things in back you know because there's a skill to that you know what can go with what you know you're not going to put a loaf of bread with milk, a, a, with milk. you can't do that stuff. so so uh, we started out just working at a grocery store together and uh you know, on our breaks, we go, you know, go out back and just kind of listen to music, and we realized that we had the same taste, and and uh, and then all of our songs since then we've written about um, produce yeah. and produce. and bagging uh -huh. and uh, and scanning items. So, Josh, your rhythmic sense of music comes from bagging. Well, my real joy in that job was taking uh, taking the carts out to people's cars for them, and um, <laughs> as I would put them in the cars. Okay. Um, I did it in kind of like a, a motion that kind of like was it, it was on time and sometimes I'd have a beeping noise in my ear or like the car when you open the door would have the beep and that was my metronome to put things yeah. like gotcha. toss it in and first of all we'd like uh, to ask you guys uh, to clarify the rumor uh, you know it's true. that you met on tinder mm. <laughs> very true, very true. Yeah. how does that story go how did that even get started is that the uh, tinder one um, we probably just told that story. Yeah, yeah. you just did that. We just yeah. kind of let them know. Okay. Well, it, as long as you're proud of it, that's it good. would be true. For, okay, it's not true. It would be true if Tinder was around when we actually met. Yeah. Right. If anyone true, did then. their research, they'd realize that that's not true. But yeah. we actually met on uh, uh, Match.com. Match. .com. Match, .com. match that that was that was, existed at that. Well, point. Yeah. more relationships start on Match.com than any other site in the world. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's that's what I hear. So. Yeah. How much of your song "Heathens" was inspired by your own experiences, and how much of it came directly from the movie Suicide Squad? I think most of it was. Well, the the video is a very accurate portrayal of kind of how we met. Um, and that's actually the movie Suicide Squad was made after um, uh, true events of us meeting in a prison and, and uh, uh, playing music together in prison. So they, uh, at the end, um, you know how like uh, in movies you'll see like based on a true story or this is dedicated to this. It's yeah, it's more or less a documentary. And at the end, it's cool because our song plays and then they're like. Uh, based on true events, this movie is dedicated to Josh and Tyler. And that, you can say, is the true story of how you met. Will you tell me that right now on record? Yeah, no, absolutely, 100% true. All right, we'll go with that one. There's kind of a conspiracy going on. My, my media minions have told me that when people ask you how you met and how the whole bromance thing came together, there's a different story. No, no, there's only one story. There's one. All right, give me the one story. I was, uh, I was working at a fast food restaurant uh, and I was I was working the drive-through, 
and this guy comes up and he's just like yesterday i came through here and i ordered fries but you guys you guys gave me onion rings and i was like listen dude at this point i had, i was pretty upset because you know, people just treat you like trash when you work at a, a fast food restaurant yeah, yeah. and i was like dude listen i don't have time for this and and uh and then he stopped me and he was like no i just want to let you know that like i forgive you and i was like wow Here's a guy who, who went out of his way to tell me like, hey, you know what? I appreciate what you do, who you are. Onion rings aren't that big of a deal. Yeah. And I was like, do you play music? And he was like, yeah, I play the drums. And then, uh, and then ever since then, we were just like, well, let's start a band. Yeah. And the rest is history. I had my drums in the car at the time, actually. <laughs> and, um, I, and I waited for him to get done with work. Right. And he was like, hey, we're closed. Um, there's only one, we can only set up in like, the kind of refrigerated area, right. but that's like that was where we first kind of like wrote most of the the main portion of songs. Yeah, it was really loud in there. Yeah. We live drums in a very sure. small metal place. And now to this day, I still just get onion. You know, I remember when you ordered it because I was like, who just gets <laughs> onion? An order rings? of onion rings. I know. <laughs> so I was just it? really like, kind of who's in the driving room. by right the establishment is like, mm, you know what? I could go for some onion or some some rings of onion right now. I love it. Rings of onion. I'm going to go get some rings of onion later yeah, and then go. come back to the show. What's the biggest lie you've ever told? Um, we lie. We lie every time people ask us how we met. Because we just kind of, we try to make something up each time. That's a pretty something big new. lie. Really? So how'd you guys meet? Well, I'll tell you the real story. So uh, I was working at a grocery store. Breaking news. Yeah. And uh, I was I was I was the bagger. And uh, he's lying. He's, so <laughs> he's a bad liar at that. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Josh is the bagger. Okay? <laughs> I switched that was it up. My passion as a kid. Oh. I had to give up my dreams to play in a band. <laughs> so what I've heard about you guys, which is like I come to this interview, is that you guys do like to joke around. Because honestly, if I was sitting in your position, I'm getting asked all these random questions constantly, making up funny answers for them. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Like people are like, "Where do you guys meet?" Are we back? For instance, you're back here. Do you guys still like have fun and do stuff? I mean, obviously you do. You just just talk smack. It's fun, right? Well, we did meet in prison. <laughs> <laughs> what are you in for? Uh, I I I uh, I was loitering. <laughs> what was your nickname in jail? Spooky Josh. Spooky. So and your nickname in jail? Uh, Josh. Just Josh. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen uh, a few of the interviews that you guys have done in the past. I've, I've heard you answer this question a few different ways, so I thought I would ask as well. How did you two meet? Um, we, uh, we both were working for a car wash. I was, I was a part of, um, you have to spray the car down first. And then you can apply to some, our buddy, um, Jeff was the guy who, um, applied the soap. And then Josh was the one that actually dried everything after it was done. And, uh, he, he was, you know, he was always like, whoever is on the front of this line watering this car down is, is not getting it. Enough water on it, that's why these cars are not as good as they could look. And I went up to him, I was like, Do you have a problem? And he was like, No, but you know, you're not very good at your job. And I was like, Well, I, I write songs, and he's like, Well, I play the drums, and so we started a band, and um, we've really just been killing it ever since. Yeah, and he's and he now he's he waters that thing great now when we're at the car wash because it's kind of like you know. When you're in the shower, you just get in and soak Start your body down without... You can't just put a bar of soap on your dry skin, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of what it was like. And so now, like yesterday at the car wash, it, the, the car was almost too, too <laughs> wet. <laughs> and I was like, all right, you don't need to go that crazy. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of how we met. I had a, a radio friend tell me, a couple of them, that... that Every time you're asked the question, how did you two meet, you guys change it up. Is that true? No, no. Okay. All right. So how did you two meet? Uh, I was working at an alligator farm. Okay. Uh, it was just kind of something that, like, I always thought was interesting since I was a kid. And um, so I'm, like, kind of, like, uh, uh, I, I just cleaned up after the alligators. I wasn't really allowed near them or anything. They didn't trust me. Yeah. But um, he came in with his family once they were on vacation, uh, and... And this was like we were kids, so uh, he tripped and fell, and okay. uh, and it was kind of like near one of the cages. It wasn't like like severe danger, but yeah. actually one of the alligators was out that day. Oh wow! It was like out and kind of like roaming because it had just been fed, 
Um, and so it starts to approach Tyler. Um, and as I went to go try and save him, I fell in and then he got up and then he saved me. And <laughs> at great. that point we were, I was, we were just like, Hey, what's your, what's your, you know, your digits and your information just so we can keep in touch. Cause this was like a very bonding moment. Yeah, of course. The alligator was named pilot. That's a good name. And Be- so we were like, you know, seems to be a lot of those in here. About yeah. 21 of them. Well, that was the exact story that the radio guy told me you would tell, so. Yeah, I mean, that's um, the real one. If you look up on Wikipedia, that's the one that'll show up. They're all that's fake. All oh, that's the one that's real. Yeah, that's the real one. First thing I have to ask you guys, I, I watched a bunch of interviews you guys did on uh, YouTube. Yeah. I want to know the story of how you guys met. Who wants to do it? We, uh, we met on YouTube, actually. Um, we, uh, well, we met at YouTube, more specifically. The yeah. building. Um, I didn't know they had a building. Yeah, no, there's a building. All the videos stay there. Okay. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, But we weren't like the techie guys. We were more just janitors. But I always had the night shift, and he always had the day shift. And so we never really like interacted other than he always left his mops out without drying them. And I was just like, who is this guy? And and then uh, so I would like – I wouldn't – completely clean up all the way either and so then it just be kind of it kind of came this this feud of constantly pranking the other guy and then we finally met each other uh, you know we duked it out you guys fought yeah oh yeah what you fight dirty uh not like dirty dirty but you gotta i mean you gotta try and win okay all right yeah and so um it was actually with mobs we were <laughs> fighting with mobs and and then uh we tied it was a draw. It was a draw. A draw, one, of those, a draw. one of those rocky moments where we both went down at the same time. And um, when we came to the next week, we said, you know what? We should we should start a band. And that's how it all began. Well, I've seen a bunch of interviews with you guys. And uh, one of my favorite questions, because it's always such a fascinating story, is how you guys met. So I worked at a hot air balloon store, which you when you think hot air balloon, you don't think of a store like a, you know, four walls and a thing. But, you know, someone needs to make the basket and you know that's not gonna happen in the middle of the field so I was working there and uh, I got a phone call from some guy and he called me and he's like hey I need four baskets pronto and I was like no one says pronto anymore dude and he's like whatever and uh, I was like what's your name he's like Josh I was like okay come on in and so I made him four baskets for his hot air balloon and what did you ever would you use those for well I was taking some friends and family out to uh, on a, tour, a different tour that I was on. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a different band? Yeah, it was a different band at the time, but the, they, they were no good, yeah. honestly. Um, and what was their name? It was called the uh, Lumineers. I don't cut that part out. I don't know why that like name came to yeah. mind first. <laughs> oh. Um, There's literally nothing we have against them either. No, yeah. literally, like I, I like them. They're good. Yeah. Um, the no, we're the basket heads, and that's why the baskets were important because we only okay. used one basket for the because there wasn't that many of us, but there, our friends and family were there. So anyway, yeah, I, I needed those. I already had the balloon. Yeah. <laughs> he just made baskets, so I was like. Yeah, I, I need. I yeah, need I some, wasn't. I, I wasn't. I wasn't running what you would call a one-stop shop. You know, I provide a part of the hot air balloon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Use the basket specialty. So, I needed those. Um, I had everything else, and and um, so he, he, I, I was. I was so impressed with his quick service and the craftsmanship of that basket that uh, I was like, do you know what? I th- I think I'm kind of sick of this band, the Basket Heads. Um, and it's not really that cool of music anyway. It's it's uh, it's like kind of boring. Uh, I didn't even play the drums at that time. I didn't know how. Um, I actually was just the photographer. Hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I was like, "Would you like to start a band?" Because I think the drums would be fun, and and <laughs> you're you're really good at what you do. Um, so that's when we started that, that yeah. day. Wow. And now you have this amazing musical prowess that yeah. we bring to the table. Yeah. yeah. Because of our background. <laughs> uh, orange. Six. We're just going to read this question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, how did you guys meet each other? Um, that's a good one. We, uh, we were both working at a Best Buy. He was in the electronics, and I was more in the, um, 
like the appliances. Oh, okay, yeah. So we really didn't interact much, actually. The appliances were the electronic section. That's the right. Had this, this fuse. Right. Uh, and then they came out with these smart toasters, and we were like, "Is this an electronic or is this an appliance?" Yeah. And uh, it kind of like was in the middle of our two areas. So when people would come in and ask about this smart toaster, mm-hmm. um, we didn't know like. It was kind of like first first to show up to answer the question to get to the sale. Uh, and Did you get this, commission on that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, that's why we fought so hard for this. Yeah. Toaster. Like, yeah. I still to this day, it's a toaster. And Josh would argue, like, well, no, there's some electronic. It's just yeah. a computer chip in it. Yeah. So. Do you uh, still have one of these toasters? Or did you ever purchase one yourself? No, no, these things actually never worked. Oh. Um, it didn't toast your bread, and it didn't. The electronic part of it didn't work either. Yeah, so you could watch it like a little movie. So on. we had this big altercation over this particular customer who was kind of asking questions of both of us, and we were trying to answer as quick as possible first. And, um, we actually weirded that person out so much they just left, and I was so mad at them. Uh, but then that was the beginning of a really great friendship. How great! Yeah. When did you guys know that? You were like gonna make music together. I think it was that day. Yeah. Was it that day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it, you know, like later on our lunch break, we're in the lunchroom together. Yeah. We usually try to avoid eye contact and yeah. try to, you know, sit at opposite ends. Yeah. Yeah. But I think we kind of just we we looked at each other. We when we accidentally totally made eye contact, yeah. and then it was just like, hey man, your tactics of selling I've never thought about before, and <laughs> and uh, I I think that toaster. It is kind of an appliance. It is. And at that moment, it was just like... And I was like, no, 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 no. Let's all be friends. It's way more a computer than an appliance. Yeah. And, and then that was the big deal. Yeah, and then, and then we quit that day. We At that moment, we walked out and we were like, let's go start a band. You know, we don't worry about I love it. I was told I could not do this interview without at least asking how you guys met. I've got to find out. Yeah, no, so it's a real basic story, but basically I was building railroad tracks at the time. Most of the time, there's a machine that lays each rail, but there's some turns where it's more hands-on. I was a part of overseeing when there's certain turns, I had to make sure each track was in, in line. Uh, my my uncle actually ran the company, so I was kind of a younger kid, like 16, 17, just learning the ropes. And there was this one particular turn where I knew, I was like, this is bad news, because I feel like I feel like there's like some street rats, some kids that like hang out around here. You know, you could kind of see the evidence. And as we round the corner, I see this group of kids about my age, but they were obviously looking for some trouble. And I was looking for uh, not there, there to not be trouble. And Josh was the leader of this gang. What was your gang? What was the name again? It was the, it was the, the screw heads. Right. Screw. And I heard about the screw heads and I was like, I don't want to have anything to do with the screw heads. And uh, so Josh confronted me, said, "What are you doing in, in our in these parts?" And I was like, "I'm just, I'm just laying fresh rail." And uh, they laughed. Uh, and I was like, "Why are you laughing?" And it was like they said, "That's the same phrase we use when we take a dump in the woods." I feel bad now looking back because I, I was a real jerk to you at the time, and I and I do, I do feel bad. But it, if that didn't happen, then we wouldn't have met. And. Uh, but you know what, Tyler was on board with that, and he came with us to to like lay our kind of rail, um, and th- and we accepted him into our gang that day. And um, a few months later, oddly enough, uh, he hit me up um, on my pager at the time because it was you know it was in cell phones and it's 90s. and uh, he needed help with a uh, with his thing, and he's like, dude, I laid your kind of rail in the woods, yeah. and if you could help, I, I need help. And I went and we were laying down some railroad tracks. They, lay, they laid fresh rail for weeks and weeks. And then and then we completed the circuit. Yeah, and then we started making music. So there have been many rumors going around from you all meeting in prison, from you all saving each other from a train crash to mm-hmm. working at the grocery store. So we want to clear up all those rumors here. Yeah. So how, how did you all actually meet? Um, well, we actually, um, all of those are kind of like made up. Oh, yeah, I, kinda, I, I didn't know. Yeah, those are made up. But the real story is we were both working at um, General Mills. And uh, I specifically focused on Rice Krispie treats. And he specifically worked on Rice Krispies. Hmm. We kind of had this 
feud, you know, we just never really got along. And then one day, uh, we found ourselves sitting at the same lunch table, which never happens. You know, Rice Krispies over there, Rice Krispie Treats over there. It was the only two seats available, and we had to sit next to each other. And, you know, I'm, I'm eating my, uh, my Rice Krispie Treats, and he's eating his Rice Krispies. Yes, yeah, as we did every day. <laughs> and, and we got to talking, and we realized, you know, he's, you know, he's not that bad. You know, he actually, we have a lot in common. Um, he just adds, you know, yeah, he adds milk, and I don't. Like, mm. I get that. Uh, my fingers get sticky, you know, his don't. But there's something there. And then we came up with Rice Krispie Treats cereal, which if you've never had it before, you should go check it out. It's the Rice Krispie box, but it's purple, not blue. And it's actually the Rice Krispie Treats you put milk on. Josh and I invented that. Yeah, that we and came up been, with that. And, and I, th- I think the biggest takeaway is that if, if, you, if you find yourself disagreeing with, with somebody, then you can, you can turn something yeah, really cool. Just completely into. compromise all your values. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So and here at, we are today. Meeting yeah. at the General Mills factory. That's yeah. that's incredible. What a beautiful story. I don't story. even know if General Mills is Rice Krispies. Yeah. Uh, well, it is because that's where we met. Right. <laughs> so, 